Hi everybody, Big Guy here. Thanks for coming to Mike's Garage. Today we have a question from a young man in Miami, Florida. His name is Carlos. Carlos wants to know, hey Big Guy, they're trying to teach me fractions in school. I don't understand them and I don't know why I need them. Carlos, it's a good question and I think I have an answer. The answer is, you will need it every day. Every day, you need it in cooking. You measure one cup, one and a half cups, one and three quarter cups of whatever ingredients are to make the perfect meal, the perfect desserts, whatever it is you need to measure and you need to know your fractions of measurement. Same thing with carpentry. If you're helping somebody and they say, I need something one foot and three sixteenths, you better know how to read that ruler. If you don't know how to read the ruler, you better practice up on it because this is the building block of everything that's square, straight, strong, and looks good because it's measured properly. The basic ruler is broken down into one sixteenths. So you have one sixteenth, two sixteenths or one eighth, four sixteenths or one quarter, eight sixteenths or one half. So you see how that goes. So you really need to know how that works. Same thing with plumbing. You have to know that the pipe goes downhill by how much you have to measure it, whether it's one inch per yard, two inches per 20 yards. A pipe has to go downhill to keep water flowing downhill if it's a drain. So you need to know that. A mechanic, he needs a wrench. It's three quarters of an inch, seven sixteenths of an inch, one eighth of an inch, five sixteenths. They're all different sizes and they're all fractions based. That's all standard measurements. Okay? So you need to know that. The same thing goes for an electrician. If he's going to measure out the wire, he needs to know what size wire he needs. So you have to have the right math in your head to be able to figure it out without standing there and not have a clue. One of the things I used to like to ask my children, if we're in the car, and I'm going 60 miles an hour, how long will it take me to go one mile? If you have to think about that question, you better brush up on your math, because you need it and we'll use it every day. Carlos, thanks for your question and thanks for watching Mike's Garage.